you know, it, there's this huge gap between what is now understood by the relevant scientists and what is known by the people who need to know, and that's the public. Climate change is literally one of the most, uh, you know, significant challenges that human civilization has to has had to confront, and we can't just bury our heads in the sands. Um, the decisions that we are making to now about our emissions, our carbon emissions, are going to impact future generations, uh, the world that we leave our children and grandchildren. And I believe there's an ethical uh, responsibility not to leave future generations a degraded planet. So we really need to act on this problem now, and uh, it's ir irresponsible to not to be talking about. It. And, and I do think that uh, uh, many media uh, organizations uh, could do a better job in helping us have that public conversation about what to do about this problem. You know, it's like, it's like the stock market. If we have bad economic policies, we, we know eventually it's going to cause the stock market to have a problem and collapse, but we can't predict when that's going to happen. It's, it's a, a difficult problem, and that's why it's difficult for scientists, because we can see that there's a problem, but how do we get the public to feel it? If we run around with our hair on fire, well, after a while they say, well, there's that guy with his hair on fire again.